smell some of these new fragrances with me. Now, this brand is called Algabra. I believe that's how it's pronounced, Algabra. Yes. But I've tried a couple of their things before. I only remember the name of one of them. It was called Rejoice, and it was really good. But these, I'm not too sure about yet. So we're going to be doing a bunch of first impressions. Don't know the notes of these fragrances. This scent is called Eye of the Seven Hills. Okay. Let's see how this goes. And I'll put like a discount link if you guys want to try them in the description box below. But, and in the comment section, but... <clears throat> okay, hold on. There's a powderiness to it, but there's also like a juicy, fruity sort of note to this fragrance and florals as well. I don't know if that's rose, but yeah, it's like this juicy, fruity, powdery floral fragrance. That's what I'm getting. A very like up, up class, uh, up class, a more like upscale sort of fragrance you know this is the type of scent you wear when you're gonna get dressed up i see it leaning more as a feminine scent to be honest but i feel like in those sort of occasions like at those galas if you're somebody that is dressed in a suit and you wear this fragrance it, it can totally work you can totally pull it off it definitely gives rich wealthy sort of vibes to me a bit mature for my liking like is this something that i'm automatically drawn to no, but we'll see how that dries down. And you know what? Kind of smells a little bit spicy. Like, like kind of like saffron-ish. Yeah. Hmm. But you know what? This is what I've noticed when it comes to notes like saffron. They have that sort of luxurious... Um, spicy high class I, what I keep saying upper upper i'm blanking on words but upscale sort of sense you know and i am wearing a sweater so i might have to spray some of these on my sweater this one is called crown of marmara all right i'm gonna also assume that this is probably gonna be like a luxury smelling scent that might be honestly the theme of the brand because when i smelled rejoice i really loved it okay here we go the name of this again Crown of Marmara. Oh, fresh. It's like fresh. This kind of, I don't know if it's the name of the fragrance that's making me think this right from the jump. Is that leather? It's like citrusy and leathery at the same time. But the first image that came to my mind is like this... I don't know, like, like royalty, like people that live in a castle, like king, queen, and all that, and their castle is next to the water. You know what I mean? Like, that is where they are settled. Like, they have, like, this cliff, and then they're just, like, surrounded by water. That's the vibe that I get from this. Yeah, it's nice. This is a nice one. I like this one better than the first one. What was the name of the first one? Eye of the Seven Hills, or Eye of Seven Hills, and this one's called Crown of Marmara. Oh my god, the notes are here, y'all. That's the thing, I always look at the top, but we're gonna keep it like that, where I just look at the name of the fragrance, because I really want to get a more accurate first impression. I don't want to be swayed by what the notes are. All right, third one. This is called King of Flowers. I wonder what that's gonna smell like, right? I'm gonna actually spray it here, because I have a feeling these fragrances are gonna be strong. Here we go. Spray it on one of these. Come on, oh, I got my hand, man. Oh, well. That's not bad. That smells glorious. Like, I'm, I'm kind of salivating a little bit. Not what I expected with a name like King of Flowers. It smells like... I'm not really getting, I mean, I do get the florals, but it smells more juicy to me. Very bright sort of fragrance, you know, and it's this very, like, an easygoing sort of scent. This, I think, would be a really good mass appeal sort of fragrance. It definitely has what I consider to have, like, be, like, a mass appeal sort of quality to it. 
And this is very unisex. You know, honestly, it kind of leans a little bit more feminine, in my opinion, off that initial opening. But I could totally see, like, you know, a more daring guy wearing a more floral fragrance like this. But damn, that shit's nice. Okay, okay. And I know I said I wasn't going to look at the notes, but I will look at it after I give you my first impression. All right, so I told you what I thought it smelled like. The top notes here, grapefruit and bergamot. That's what I'm getting with like that freshness, lavender, iris, vanilla, and then the base is amber and sandalwood. That smells good. That this this is gonna stay to the side here because shit. I might just I might just try to get a bottle of that. But by the way, I don't know if I said this, but these fragrances are 35% perfume concentration. So they're no joke. I believe all of them are extraits. Yeah, they no wonder they perform really well. It's actually a good idea that I'm going to spray it on this. I know it's not the same as the dry down on your skin, but it's going to last forever. Okay, this one is called Ottoman Treasure. It's kind of giving me Game of Thrones vibes. All the fragrances that I've tried so far, like, it kind of takes me to that era. But it still smells really good and it can still really work well in modern times. Okay, what is this? Ottoman Treasure. Come on. Here we go. Don't spray my hand again, please. Okay, that was better. Fuck. Got it in my eye. This one I'm not rocking with immediately. It's a bit sharp. What is that? It smells almost like, honestly, it's going to sound weird to say this, almost like historical. Like when you go into a museum and then you see a bunch of like the like life-sized like mannequins and stuff and you walk into that room that's the vibe that it's giving me what is this white oud okay it's an oud fragrance citrus patchouli okay probably that's what i'm getting that dirtiness that sort of not ancient smell but like earthy sort of scent this is not the type of fragrance i would wear the heart notes oli olibanum 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 probably i don't know pink berries Balsam, amber, moss, vetiver. Yeah, this is my least favorite. That's my least favorite. All right, here we grow. Here we go. I'm just stuttering all over the place. Istanbul Soul. Ooh, this sound. This sounds interesting right here. Still, I'm gonna give it to King of Flowers. And typically, floral fragrances aren't my favorite. So the fact. Yeah, I'm gonna. I might be giving that a full wear. Shit, that thing is. That smells good. Okay, here we go. It's called Estimable Soul. Here we go. I learned not to fan it at me. Ooh. Oh, this is this is spicy. In a like I'm gonna sneeze sort of way like this. Kind of smells a little bit like a spice cabinet. And I like I love spices, like eating them, but do I want to smell like a spice cabinet? Not really. Daring fragrance though, but this this is the type of thing that is hit or miss. Like this is a bold fragrance to me because this is the type of scent that some people will really love or the spice will smell like B.O. to other people. You know, when it comes to things like cumin, um, caraway, those are fragrance notes that some people associate with B.O. Um, but this one here, like, it's a good spice. It smells like, like a little bit like the spice that you put on spicy food. Not hot sauce. Well, actually, hold on. <laughs> Am I getting hot sauce vibes from this too? Really, what are the notes here? Wow, look at the top note. It says spicy notes. <laughs> so it wasn't far off at all. Spicy notes, pepper, what else we got? Um, geranium, incense. The incense I picked up, that's what kind of gave it a little bit of that old smell, you know? Patchouli again, cedarwood, base notes, amber, tonka bean, benzoin, gayak, sandalwood. Okay, Istanbul soul and... Ottoman Treasure, my least favorite so far. I have the Seven Hills, like, I don't love it. Honestly, it's still bottom tier in my opinion. And Crown of Marmara, I mean, it smelled good, but it's a little bit forgettable after I smelled this one right here. But nonetheless, still a nice fragrance. Okay, this one is called From the Heart. Aw, this is going to be romantic. From the Heart. I'm assuming this is going to go more floral or it's probably going to go in like the fruity direction. So... Let's see, or maybe even like a chocolatey thing, because typically things with hearts 
People think romance and romance, they think flowers and chocolates. We'll see. All right, here we go. Let's air it out a little bit. I knew it. I it's it's a it's a fruity fragrance. It smells like you just hopped out of the shower and you had herbal essence shampoo. And I'm not gonna lie, that takes me back. Okay, I love the smell of that. I used when I was in high school, I used to have this herbal essence shampoo that I would use every day. I think it was the pear one, if I'm not mistaken. But it smells like this, and I like it. Yeah. Oh man, this smells good. Fruity fragrance, fresh. This is what you throw on fresh out of the shower. This is going over here with King of Flowers. What, what are the notes? Bergamot and peach, bitter orange in the top. Okay, very fruity. You got the citrus with the bergamot. And then in the heart notes, damask rose and lily and the base amber white musk. This, like, I, this is a feel-good fragrance to me. Is this something that reads like super sexy no it's still sexy in like a clean way though you know what i mean where it's like when you smell somebody that smells like this you're like they take care of themselves because they just smell so clean i like that a lot i'm gonna see if i can get a bottle of that i like that okay this one is called ancient fortress i have a feeling you guys are seeing the notes before i am but i have a feeling this is gonna smell well ancient am i gonna like it I'm going to assume no, but let's give it a shot, all right? And first of all, this thing, what I just got excited about thinking right now is that with these fragrances, like I said, they're 35% extra. So, and this is a fresh showery fragrance. And right here, I have Pear Ink by Juliet Has a Gun. And this is my favorite fragrance from this brand. But the downside to it is that it doesn't perform. So if I literally just found my fresh out the shower fragrance that smells like shampoo that will last on me, I'm gonna be a very, very happy woman. Okay, here we go, Ancient Fortress. I hope this doesn't smell like rubble and like war, you know. Okay, well, pause. reminds me of hairspray like you're you're getting dressed up like let's say you're going to a wedding if you're ever a part of a bridal party and you know you're all getting ready in your dresses and the makeup artist and then there's somebody's doing your hair your hairdresser and they're like spraying you with hairspray so that your hair holds and stuff that is what this smells like to me like the bridesmaid's room before a wedding that that is exactly what this smells like and i didn't expect it with a name like ancient fortress let me see what the notes are we got lemon um, green leaves, apple, neroli, heart notes, nutmeg, clove, juniper berry, leather, white tobacco, aquatic, sea moss notes, base, amber, sandalwood, cedar wood, oak moss, woody musk. <clears throat> it's, it smells like hairspray. Yeah, it smells like hairspray. Would I want to smell like this? No, but not what I expected at all. And I, I give it a thumbs up in that regard. All right, this one's called City of Jasmine. Probably going to be a floral fragrance. Let's find out if it comes out. All right. City of Jasmine. I learned not to blow into my face because of what happened earlier. How many fragrances have we tried? Two, four, six, seven. This is eight. All right. Oh, hold on. That shit reminded me of Cedrop Jose in the opening. What the hell? That sm <laughs> smelled like to drop was a. This smells like to drop was a. What the? I'm sure. Hold on. Am I? A moment, please. I didn't spray here. I sprayed the other one here. All right. So. In the air. I know that this is kind of weird. Watch me waft it like that. Okay, there are differences, but I see a little bit of a similarity with Mancera Cedrapose. That's wild to me. It's not super fruity. It definitely has some sweetness to it, and it's more like apple-y. It's not citrus fruity. It's apple-y. You know, it has some tartness. Yeah, that's what it is. Apple, some tartness, and a little bit of sweetness. What, what's in this? 
boom, apple, leather, jasmine, rose, vanilla, and musk. I think a lot of these fragrances have that vanilla musk base. Um, so I can only imagine how good they would smell as these start to transition. But I like this. I do find this to smell more unisex than Cedrat Bose. Cedrat Bose has takes a more masculine turn. <clears throat> and if you're somebody that's tried that fragrance, but you want something that smells more unisex, you might want to you might want to look into this one right here. Damn. Typically, when I do videos like this, like not a, like these are kind of like my low low key videos. You know what I mean? That most people are like oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll wait for her like full review, so they kind of skip over these videos. But I'm telling you right now. There's some gems here that if y'all are watching this, you're going to be ahead of the game when I start talking about these. And when I get like full bottles and stuff, you're going to be like, oh, I know. I know what she was talking about. Okay, this is called Scent of Paradise. You can see the notes there if you want to. Let's see. Let's give it a shot. And I like to flip it over so I don't see the notes and I spray it on the opposite side right here. My thumb is covering the actual notes of the fragrance so I don't look and see. Scent of paradise. Is this going to be something aquatic? Is it going to be something beachy? Is it going to be something coconutty? Okay, yeah. It smells like a vacation. It smells like... Yeah, it smells... And this is kind of reminding me of my recent trip to Cancun where it's like the all-you-can-drink bar. Like, it's an all-inclusive resort, so everything is, like, you don't have to worry about paying for anything and just go into the bar all the time. Like, and it's on the beach. Yeah. Fresh, clean, easy-to-wear sort of fragrance. This is one of the niche fragrances that I was talking about in the beginning, kind of like with um, King of Flowers and From the Heart, that it's not daring at all, but it's still niche. It's top quality. You know, it smells good. What is this? Fruity Notes. There it is. Bergamot. Iris, rose, amber, musk, and sandalwood. This I mess with. I find it to be more of a feminine fragrance, but damn, I like I, You know what? Because uh, I'm splitting my the, the fragrances that I've tried on the, right, on the right, the ones I don't really mess with, on the left, the ones that I like. And I have to say, it's all like, there's four here that I like, and then there's six that I don't really mess with that much. So this is a pretty even balance. Typically, if you've watched my videos, you know that when it comes to niche brands, I could try like 10 of them and there's one that I like. But the fact that there's four here, holy shit. All right, this one's called Labyrinth of Spices. It's probably going to be a spicy fragrance. But it's been surprising me so far. Here we go. Labyrinth of Spices. I like this brand. I like them a lot so far. Here we go. Spices. I could see how somebody smelling this for the first time would think it smells like pickles. Yeah. There's a sort of like leathery note to this. Maybe it's suede or something like that. That accompanies that pickly sort of smell with the spices. Not my favorite. This is Turkish coffee, pineapple, tobacco. Okay, it's tobacco. That's what I'm picking up. Clove, cinnamon, nutmeg. Um, anise, lavender, tonka beans, cardamom. I don't really pick up much cardamom right now. Base notes, amber, sandalwood, cedarwood, vetiver, oak moss, and woody, is it woody musk? Yeah, woody musk. There it is. Yeah, this is going to go on the right pile. You know what? I was thinking of only doing a couple of these, but this is actually really fun because I, I'm messing with this. Okay, this is called Poem of uh, Damas. Vamos y caballeros. Na, 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 na. Here we go. Again, don't know the notes, y'all. Okay, this is po poem poem of Damas. I have a feeling this, that this is going to be like a romantic fragrance because typically poems are romantic, right? Like, this is going to be something that just takes my breath away scent-wise. Okay, first, just... First sniff, I'm going to go back and smell it, but it smells like when you unwrap like a Hershey's Kiss. It's not like chocolate, but there's that certain scent. You know what I'm talking about, that it smells like the foil and that, and you're like, you don't know if it smells bad, but it's still good when you put it in your mouth. You know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about? It smells like a Hershey's Kiss. Like the wrapping of it, 
but definitely not as chocolatey. If you smell this, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And if it does have more fruity nuances. Wait a second. That is kind of chocolatey. Agarwood, amber, so maybe it's amber. Fruity floral notes, oriental spicy notes. That's not bad. If you want to smell like a Hershey's Kiss, which I guess is kind of like Valentine's Day and romantic, right? Yeah, I like this. Do I love it? No, but do like, it's a creative sort of smell because it, I mean, it automatically made me think of that. But if you're, let's say a niche fragrance connoisseur, smelling like a Hershey's Kiss might not be like what you want to pride yourself in. But I think this, no, this is beautiful. I like this. Yeah, this is also, I, I get sort of like author vibes from this. I know it's like, a, it says poet and stuff, but you know how we were talking with Eye of, the, of Seven Hills, how it's kind of this upscale sort of fragrance and it's, it smells rich and luxurious with this. It smells like the author that is invited to those events. They're not dressed up like all the other people in suits. Like they definitely have their own personality, their own flair. Definitely more like open-minded free thinkers. That's that's what this scent kind of reminds me of. That's a nice one. Like the people that like to wear bandanas and tie them around their necks and go ride on sailing boats. Yeah. For that that's the type. That's the type that I think of. All right, this last one is called Bosphorus Pearl. Bosphorus Pearl. Is it gonna be a bougie scent? Maybe it will. Bosphorus Pearl, okay, here we go. Wow, so we have five here and six here. Oh my God, we're pretty much like tied neck and neck almost. This will be the tiebreaker. Floral fresh fragrance. There is some fruitiness to this too. But more of like a soury, fruit yeah more of a soury fruit right now off the opening not in a bad way kind of like not lychee it's like a sour a more sour version of lychee it doesn't really have as much sweetness to it but it smells good like i would wear this to the beach yeah not my personal favorite like it but i don't love it what is it it's okay violet rose okay you got elang elang in the base Jasmine tea and cedar wood. And then the base, um, I mean, heart notes. That was the heart notes. And then the base is ambery, white musk, dry wood, floral musk. But maybe it's the uh, jasmine tea vibe that I'm picking up on also. Like this is a very calm fragrance. It's not in your face. This is a relaxing sort of scent that you wear on like a leisure sort of day, a casual day. This is like a white t-shirt sort of fragrance you know like when you got on that nice white tea and you throw on a nice fragrance like this and you go to brunch and everyone's like damn you smell rich you smell really good you know i like it i think i think i would really like this on uh, on my girlfriend yeah okay you know what we i'm gonna tie it up actually so no joke I liked six of them and I didn't like six of them. That makes me excited. If all of a sudden the, in the next couple weeks you see me with like six bottles of Algabra fragrances, know that and like comment on that video and be like, I was there during the first impressions because this brand didn't come to play. Like this shit, it smells pretty good. And these like, not my favorites, but you know, it might work for you. But again, I'll put a discount link where you could try these fragrances in the description box below. It's for global shipping. So if you want to try the sample set like I did, you can do that. Or if you're a baller and you just want to just, I don't know, send it and buy a full size, you can do that as well. But anyways, I hope you have a great day. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye.